it's emotional for me. I have two white brothers with better families. And I have my mom. She was born in 1943, and they are staying there. Through so every morning and every night, I have to start, I'm starting my day with calling them, checking if they're alive. My brothers and their families, they, yeah, they will come. And yeah, they, they in their age, they can actually be benefited to the society here too. After the fall of the Soviet Union, a lot of Ukrainians and individuals from former Soviet Union countries came to Sacramento. So there's an incredibly strong community base here, you know, something like 20,000 Ukrainians in the greater Sacramento area and a really strong network of churches and um, businesses and connections. So when people come, they feel part of a community. The reason people come to places like Sacramento is because there's a high population of people that know them. And, and because it's relational, there's this feeling of, hey, we gotta help, we gotta do something. So we're talking about launching 15 more vehicles that uh, over the next probably couple weeks um, that will be rescuing more women and children. We set up a system of host families um, who can take in refugees that are coming here. Most of them are coming illegally, crossing the border um, into California and then just spreading out. My brother still lives in Ukraine and he lives almost on a shelter, bomb shelter. You want to cry and you don't understand how it's happened on the 21st century. It's so scary. And you're here and you, you can do nothing for this. Only you can do it just work and help like some money for food and do everything what you can do.